I think I found the best um the best transcription dictation app out there. Ooh, save it for the podcast. <laughs> it's doing it as we're going. It's creepy. Are you ready? Yeah. Always. I'm always ready. Sweat at Grit T Podcast. Yeah. And remember to be a director too. Eric Reger doing double time. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or Vimeo, hey, hey. this is going to be a problem for us. He's playing director and hey, hey. co host. This is, yeah. If you like that, I'll stay focused. We've got three no, Mevo cameras going. Someone called out that I, I don't bring myself in as a host, so I'm Law Smith. Oh, everybody should just know who you are. That's written on, all, our name's written on everything. Yeah, but... If you've made it here, you probably know something. What if they're walking by a construction site and they're all listening to the podcast and they don't know, hey, who's that guy talking with the big head? Like it's a, like New York scaffolding? Yep. Like we're getting whistled at? Yep, cat what, call. what happened to the cat calls? Me too. That was a thing for like two seconds. Mm, it was pretty, pretty common, I think. No, no, but I mean, like, it was in the paper and stuff, and like, media made a big deal out of it. The media is like the most ADD seven-year-old out there. If you think about the topics, yeah, and just how fast they move on to the next thing. I don't watch the news anymore. I don't either. I'm Tampa News Force. That's all I do. <laughs> Shout out to John Jacobs. I'm not even joking. I wish I was, but... Yeah, we live in an era where parody news is actually the most truthful news. I can see him doing a... I can see him actually going out and doing it. And not... I mean, I know that shit's real. <laughs> like, you can't fake what he's doing. Right. So, everything else is just... Whatever. He probably don't even get waivers signed or anything. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I probably shouldn't look into it. Yeah. What, uh, what, they gotta find it on, on YouTube first. Yeah, good luck. If you want to know who Tampa News Force is, that episode's uh, probably about six or seven back. Get that get that boat horn. I know. Got to change these angles too, man. Well, look, if I this angle, yeah, this is uh, this is the butt crack angle for I'm you. I'm scratching Ooh, my there you go, my guys. Ugh, don't, okay. I I got good wrist motion on that. Looks Could like cover it up. So right now we're also also recording. I think I found. I've been on a mission to organize my life um, and kind of aggressively going at it, trying to automate as much as possible. And that's that's the theme song in my head the mm -hmm. whole time, that, that Price is Right losing horn. Um, that's why it never gets done. Well, my thing is uh, all business solutions – and uh, jokes for me come out of frustration. And I just go, there has to be. There's got to be a better way. There has to be a better way. And so, like, I, I say out loud now, someone's made an app for this. Or someone has made something to fix this, like, digital part of my life. Yeah. And you're usually right. And, and so it's more about hunting it down. Because I think there's, like, 200,000 apps out there now. Yeah, that, I believe it. Or maybe that was podcast. That actually seems a little... Oh, really? Oh, oh, hold on. Man. Let me look that up. How many apps exist? <laughs> that counting like... Two, oh, I was way India off. and China. Yeah, it's probably like 200 million. Um, it's 2.1 million. Okay. Split the difference, probably. You do that math? Apple's app store. I mean, <gasps> the, the second largest app store with 2 million available apps. And then... Wow. This is from uh, Statista, which we actually have an account on. So we will. Yeah. Exciting. But. I'm too worried about directing. It's okay. Making faces at the camera. I can Bill Burr it if, if needed. <laughs> uh, fucking Pats. <laughs> God damn it. Losing to the Dolphins. Pretty much a perfect impression. Pretty much. Been watching F is for Family. Getting bummed out by that. Um, yeah. It so kind of really bums me yeah, out. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I like it, but it really bums me out. Yeah, I hope it really isn't that close to home for him. Your director's uh, video village went away. No! And so, um, oh God. all right, so here's one, here's one hack that I think I've found 
I was looking last night. I was getting my David Goggins on. I was listening to his uh, audio book. Did you come in? Yeah, did. And I, 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 you know, we we both feed off of positive energy. I think. Um, I think we can. We outwardly say a lot of negative things, but I think both of us are really kind of. Uh, we, we feed off of all the energy. Can yeah, take the yeah, maybe, energy and shove it right up your ass. Yeah, like bad improv actors. We just go off whatever the other person's got going on, <laughs> yeah. and then go with that. I'm sure you're doing some sort of veiled joke right now because I fucked up a improv gimmick. Oh no, that was earlier. I wasn't paying attention. That wasn't meta or anything. Okay. I'm not. I'm not in that zone sure. right now. Sure. Sure. Way to yes and. Yes. Way to yes and. And so, I'm just saying, like, uh, I think positive energy is such an underrated thing, and I used to think it was foofy. I used to think it was... Uh Uh-uh, no, I'm with you 100%. (laughs) I I used to think, like, well, like, that's your own, like, those um, motivational speakers that go to, like, big corporate business things. Yeah. Oh, they work, dude. They work, but there's something... This is why I like Goggins. He's authentic, right? For sure. The the guys that get paid to speak to be motivational speakers, like I knew, I have a guy from high school that went to high school with us that he's hasn't really, he's not like super successful, but he just became a motivational speaker. And you're like, he got other people to be successful, maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think the word on the street is no. It's like, yeah, when did you, how do you just I don't show know. up one day and be like, no, listen to me, just, just try. Well, in a, in a way, we kind of are doing that with this. The idea is to be we we teeter between like let's have a professional show, but let's make it authentic, and let's Did you come in? let's give real information, and let's stroke our own ego. Mm-hmm. But uh, but it is that thing of like, I like David Goggins. His book is uh, can't what is it? Can't I don't know. Can't, can't get right. Be. That's from the movie Life. But uh, let me look it up real quick. It's interesting the way it's uh, done because it's him, the, the ghostwriting author. Can't hurt me. And uh, Can't Hurt Me is a book. Audio, the audio book, I'm listening on Audible. First free book when you sign up for an account. Hashtag last free book. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, They're like, you want to do this for $15 a month? I was like, no. Nah. I don't. Uh, it's like, I will go in the dark web and get whatever book I want. It's like sit and read a book. Got the time for that? I'm, I got to get back to that. Got to do that at night. I think I think I've been tr- still trying to hammer it hard at night and work, and I think it's not good for the psyche. No, it's not good for sleeping. It's definitely not. I, it, my sleep is still garbage right now. So yeah, I, uh, I need it to. I need a forced wind down. Yeah, like nine nine p.m. Just or it's just not can't. like click and then go right to bed and then it's just like okay, that was not very. I needed some lube. <laughs> I used to, uh, for winding down or winding up? Winding hey, yo! Down. It's a little back and forth. So, I used to, like, sit on the front porch and read a book once upon a time and, like, drink red wine to wind down. and Shoot squirrels with BB guns? Shoot, yeah, with a, with a raccoon hat on? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Asking people, that's, uh, that's din din. where are they from? Hey, you from around here? <laughs> no? Get telling out. Them, telling them they're not from around here is a lot worse. Well, I used to sit backwards on a rocking chair, like A.C. Slater, so mm-hmm. they don't even know what I'm about. You and know? you've never had a hemorrhoid? No. Nah. Crazy. No. Nah. I think because this ass don't quit. Yeah. It doesn't take any days off. Brazilian chicks think I have a great ass. So I think it's one of those things where when your ass is so good that your asshole is protected by a barrier of you know, bigness. I didn't know what's going to go with that. <laughs> um, I ran out of steam. Uh, anyway, I'm listening to Goggins' book. I'm getting motivated. And um, and so I'm working out last night, late last night on a Saturday night, because I'm cool. And I uh, I was like, I got to figure this out. There's got to be an easier way. I have so many tasks going on, and I have so many things I want to change as far as discipline. and ta- like I'm trying to break everything down into tasks, projects, and habits, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but I think I'm, I'm trying to split them into three different apps. And then I, what a big mental hurdle I've kind of got is just typing in a bunch of stuff because my ADD will get crazy. I get a lot of good ideas from conversations. Like I'm not going to do it during this podcast cause it's like, ru- it'd be rude and makes the show shittier. I don't want to do it when I'm hanging out with people, but I'll get a lot of good ideas or working out. I get 
Working out's a big one, yeah. I get a lot of fucking shit yeah. out of my system that I've been thinking about. And I'm like, oh, that's how I do it. Um, and so I was like, I got to figure this out. So I sat on the bike and I found a, a transcription app that we're using right now, which is cool because it's printing. It's literally typing it out as we're going. It's called Otter. It, O-T-T-E-R. Like the, like the, uh, the phone case. Company. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Or the Nothing animal to do with homosexual <laughs> classifications. What is that? I don't know. I don't know that. I don't one. know that one either. I actually don't. I'll look it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that pregnant pause. How do you know this? Don't you like that when you're it's like from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? No, but actually. Do, don't you know when? Don't you like it when people try to bust you on like something like that? And you're like, hey, just because I know what a word means doesn't mean I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't give them any motivation to do that again but and it's just you, like if you're like hey shut up it'll right. be like oh you don't like that huh well no i usually go i usually take it further i'm like oh yeah because i'm in i love it i love it um, like i'm into it you see that uh there's a drag queen bar right across the street from here yeah we talked about that before an otter is a hairy man with a slender physique in contrast with a bear who is more thick set Look, they can't take all the Thick animals. Set is a word. The gays are great. They can't. the The dilfs out there, they can't take all, all the. Uh, well, they took otter and bear. There's another one. There's a, you know, two or three more. Let them have whatever animals they want. Well, double income, no kids. They'll they'll make it better with that. They'll disposable. Buy all the animals they want. That disposable yeah. income, they'll make it, they'll add value at it. Um, anyway, so otter, it's an AI app. Uh, it integrates with uh, basically everything that you can hook to IFTTT and Zapier, which are those two big uh, integration apps to IFTTT. If this, then that. It'll it'll make a trigger to hit, o- hit over to something more personal usually, somewhere between home and uh, business. And then Zapier is way more business-oriented, but it's a web app, so it's not as easy to use if you're kind of on the fly. But this is really cool because it, I've been looking for one that I can drop an audio file in, and it'll transcribe it, which we've been behind on. Yep. I I did it with Dragon Dictate, but it's not that good. And then uh, the other one was it it'll scoop up all the keywords. Okay. That's fucking huge. Think keywords about it. in relation to what? We suck at keywords for everything we post, right? So uh, when we're doing blog posts, which we haven't been doing a lot of, what, one of the other things I don't I don't like doing about it is the technical thing about the blog posting, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Part of that's Meta, categorizing. Metadata. Right, that metadata. This thing does it for you. Okay, that's cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. And then, uh, and then it'll also take notes. So we were supposed to do 930. The thing just started up on its own because it's integrated with my calendar. Oh, so me and the app were the ones that showed up <laughs> on time. Uh, I, a little snafu. A little booking snafu. I'm sorry, and I apologize openly on the podcast. I hate being late, and I hate fucking that up. But um, you don't think we got it written? Down why do I think this is fu- amazing, and you're just like, Meh. no, I do. Uh, so, were you gonna say that it'll it'll link up to other uh, apps? Say, uh, put put uh, so first, habit list. Uh, I need to do yep. You know, four so, push ups a day. So, what you want to do is on IFTTT. You can make what's called a widget button, or if you have an Apple, the updated Apple, you can make a shortcut. Because I want to, I, I don't, it's, it's honestly, I was thinking about this and how to make it sound legit, but if there's three buttons to get this thing going, I don't, it doesn't work, right? Yeah. I need just one button on my home screen on my phone that I can go bink and it's starting. Wow. So. One? Yeah. I kind of want two, because. You know, you could butt dial one. Then you just delete it. Oh, it'll do your calls, too, if you want. Whoa. Yeah. Might be your creepiest app yet. Well, we're already there. I mean, everything's getting recorded anyway. I turned Alexa back on in this place, so... Uh, oh, boy. She's creeping around. That little... Ho- I'm sorry! That little hockey What's puck I it? hate. Just, yeah. It's just, it's just creepy, because it doesn't work every time, and then it works randomly. <laughs> I don't like that. The, our, ours is messed up for sure. We definitely got a. Uh, um, uh, I was trying to think of a way to. We got a. Um, You're trying to Alexa that had a grade back. It got held back grade or something like that. 
You were trying not to say retarded. No, because that would be backwards. I was trying to think of like dumber. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think this is sweet because I'm just trying to go, all right, party getting organized and, and I don't have that personality that loves administrative or clerical work. Like it, it, it's really hard for me to kind of sit down and like it, it feels overwhelming. So I just don't do it uh, and or I push it off. If you do, Joe, you are. I'm God, telling everybody. God bless you. <laughs> It's just, that's the way, I mean, everybody has to do it, but the people, some people get excited. I know a lot of people that love that. Like, they love, they love organizing everything, but they have that personality. But if they sat down to go over, like, a strategy, it blows their mind. I don't mind the organizing sort of thing, you know, every once in a while as sort of a meditative situation, but somebody who's, like, all about that, and that's their job, and they come home, and they're all about it still, whoa. Serial killer. It, but in one way, right, uh, here's my thing. I spent a lot of time the last couple of nights uh, in this office cleaning up because we're douching out a lot of shit we don't need. Big uh, old douche going on. And, I, you know, how much of our lives are we going to spend looking for something? Even though it's that discipline is the ultimate freedom thing, right? Like, who yeah. cares if it's nerdy to make a guide? This is a, a tip from our simplicity organizing solution client uh, make a guide of where everything is like a menu. Yeah. I put my kids clothes away and uh, was starting to make an index card that just had like, all right, top drawers, this, 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 and this, like, cause everything moves around so much Yeah, that I just have to make it dummy proof, you know? Oh, I think I wish I did it more. I just in here. I yesterday labeling drawers and shit. Awesome. Cause it's just like, how many cords do How we have in this God fucking damn thing? time? Am I going to, I mean, it's just, I'm looking for the same thing over and over again. And I, my memory gets erased because everything kind of looks the same. So right. I'm like, where did I put it? <laughs> La- no, that was a different one. That was the HDMI, not the VGA. God damn it. I don't know. And right. now we're and so, like, halfway I've, there. So I wrote down like, all right, get these. Uh, I, I've seen these at our, our other friend of the program, uh, Scout, who is the only uh, for Apple. <laughs> The only business consultant for Apple in the area, the only B two B like Apple uh, kind of consulting company in our metropolis, but they they have like these clear translucent uh, casing for all their cords, and I'm like, all right, that I need that, and so it almost it, they're stiff, they're not like Ziploc bags because mm. the Ziploc bags become shitty after a while. Yeah. So look, we're getting to the minutia of it, but this is this all matters, right? Because you figure out these things where you go, what's the point of making a system of organizing shit if the Ziploc bag becomes all shitty after a while, and then you can't even look and see what it like what it is? Yeah, I mean, or it if, bumps you out. Yeah, it's dir- it, it looks dirty. If it's not labeled, you can have it's open to interpretation where it's like, well, maybe he's using this is all for the one TV, and it's like, well, no, it's all this one type of cord or yep. something. It's like just put it on there. Be a nerd about it. It's fine. And then don't get overwhelmed because there's so much stuff to do. Even though I felt bad, I left a lot of stuff in piles when you walked in. But yeah. I was like, well, look, at least this is in like, these are things for the TV. These are all audio wires. These are all video wires. At least try to, I was trying to have some kind of like system. I, I, I picked up on it. And then like I saw it. clearing out some stuff. Like I'm going to, this thing's going to go back to my house, I think. Uh, I like that. <laughs> all right well i don't it. know i think it's just uh against the against the black it's nice the white against the black you're talking about putting that big brown thing over there in front of it uh we I can don't i don't know that thing's more utility you can't see it, it's off camera <laughs> but it's it that's that should be the home base it's got seven drawers on it and a sliding big drawer on it and it weighs 900 pounds <laughs> i don't want to move it ever very if we we can move it today over there in the bullpen. Maybe we should talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let's go over our plans for interior decor. Yeah. Uh, another thing for that for that matter, right? Planning out what you're gonna do with your place sometimes, because we both have kids. So no matter what, you just have to live with the fact that it's there's always gonna be shit everywhere. Yeah. Right? But organizing everything with what you can control, right? And kind of getting ahead of problems. I'm trying to do this. Most of this dis- this organizing stuff uh, and discipline stuff and, and trying to get these habits 
it, from the outside looking in, it sounds crazy, right? Because it's it's overwhelming to a lot of people. No, I don't think so. I mean, it, yeah, it's when overwhelming I go ahead, for a lot of people, but I don't think it's crazy. Well, I think a lot of people try and get in that mindset. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make a roadmap on a real time board and we'll put it up for the episode because I've been meaning to do it anyway. So like having habits, tasks, and projects, right? Those are all three different things to me. Mm-hmm. Habits are daily. Like I need to stretch twice a day. Yeah, that's why I use a habit list. Super simple. Habit list. Habit list. I was going with uh, to doist. Uh, to doist. Because it integrates with our time tracking app. Mm. Name is too stupid for me. Can't use it. It's too stupid? To doist? To doist. I hate that. Or to do list. To doist? If it's to doist, that's. (laughs) I kind of like that name better. Um, All right. Of course. Uh, Because also to me, when I'm trying to integrate a bunch of stuff or working with a lot of apps, right? Apps, we got to remember, this stuff's supposed to make our life easier, right? So. I, I can overwhelm my phone and myself with, in, uh, and my computer and all that stuff when I'm like, I'm just downloading a bunch of crap, not looking into it really, going, yeah. I'll do that later. And it's like, what's the point? You're just adding it to your to do list. <laughs> so, tasks, right? Tasks are like sometimes one off, sometimes those are routine. Like, I got to clean her kid's bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. Try to do that every Saturday or something like that, every Saturday morning. Well, with Habit List, you can make it so once a week on a Saturday, it'll pop up. So a task might be, uh, so that might be a habit, because that's in the chores kind of category, right? Yeah. I'd but say anything a task repetitive. might be like, uh, like I need to gorilla glue the arm onto the towel rack that fell, fell off, right? Mm-hmm. It's not a project. Right. So just once one, it's done, it's done. So let, let's, yeah, we're, cl- we're kind of defining these. I kind of like this. So habits, more chore, r- routine, right? Yes. And then you got tasks that are more like one off. One and done. Or maybe triggered. So this, if you if you did this task or this thing, it might make you have to do this. But they're more. I think the biggest thing is that it's it's not ongoing. Yes, that trigger thing seems like it's overcomplicating it. No. So all right. So I have TTT. If this, then that. That app. It made me really think about a lot of stuff we do and how we work. Right. The tr- just don't think of like trigger as a programming thing. Just think of it like. Look, there, there's... What'd you do? I thought I kicked the computer down. Oh, God. Just no, the water. Um, oh, it's just the water. Thank God. It's just spilled everywhere. But the, uh, like, okay, a trigger, right? Um, we, we finished this podcast. That should trigger us to do the following tasks. Because it's not really a habit. Because it's not... Yes. It's not as routine because we do this whenever we can do it. Okay. So that seems like all another category. That's what this is a task. That's what I'm saying. I know, but the tasks are the one-offs. We're, we'll a get triggered thing because we'll get Nick Snap in here. If it's triggered, that's indicating that it's something that you can anticipate that would happen fairly often, right? No, it can be. It can be. Um, it I mean, how many some, of these things are we going to prepare for then? Well, no. What, what I'm saying is, you war. can you can automate a lot of stuff though in the trigger category. That's what I'm saying. Like. We should have a thing for the office that we use Slack as a communication tool, right? Yes. It, our Nest cameras should send uh, to a Slack channel you know, every time someone walks in. Okay. Just so we have that. For yeah. what? Maybe coverage. Maybe if uh, you know, we're trying to really get down, drill down the time we spend and what we're doing. Yeah. That might help. I'll let you finish. I feel like I'm just giving you a hard time about nothing. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure out how to clarify this because I think I you know I don't I, have it defined by any means. No, I have thought about it a lot. Cause All right. I do the. You, the yeah, you're more I in this the, world than yeah, I am. Yeah, I do the wonder list is something that I got to do. Um, that's once it's done, it's done, and I'll have um, kind of uh, urgency levels, stuff that I'd like to remember, but so doesn't prioritize. necessarily have to be. Yeah, it doesn't have to be done today. You know. Sort of the Gantt chart idea, but uh, yeah, that that one you're able to make folders. You know, like I have one for the podcast, I got one for my house, that sort of thing, and then the, it's broken down that way. So it's like it's not well. The Gantt chart's a project timeline mostly. You're talking about like the Eisenhower matrix. I'm just 
That remember yeah. we did we went over that with uh, JP when he was on. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And it's you have so I'll try to illustrate it. I'm sorry. I'll try to illustrate it with my words, but uh, think of uh, four squares and one you know one big square and then four tinier squares. Top left, you've got urgent and important. Top right, you've got uh, important, not urgent. Bottom left, you've got urgent, not important. And then bottom right, you've got not important, not urgent, right? So the dick, we want to make dick tie shirts. Your awesome uh, combo of our... You. That's our, our symbol for this podcast because we're pragmatic advice with dick jokes. And so... Although we're probably going to lose the with dick jokes on any sort of written down stuff we'll say it yeah we will we'll have think to think it's of holding us back we, <laughs> look that tagline few. sucks anyway so we got to think of something better we can we can do better than that funny business <laughs> that is a bad booker around the country for stand-ups um I reckon all right so we we've been saying out loud a bunch we want to make uh our own merch it's not important i mean it's not urgent it's important but it's not crazy important right We'll get to something a, nice to get done. Yeah, and Could so turn out nice. I call that I put that in a flex position. Okay. So at night, right? Not in your two running back slots. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 we do a tight end this year too. Um, hello, is this me. on? Um, what I was saying is, at all right. So my schedule is like if I'm on my game four thirty to four thirty, right? I, w- I wake up, get my shit out of the way, and then go right to work. Mm-hmm. And get as much done before 4.30. From 4.30 to 7.30, it's dad duty for sure. But it doesn't mean i got to shut off my brain for creative stuff. So I keep a notepad open on the kitchen counter while I'm making dinner or while I'm giving a bath or something. Uh, and I try to write... That shit spilled all over that thing. I try to write down ideas because I can go, all right, on the, way, on the drive home, I go, what, what can I think about? It sounds dumb, but I say out loud, like, what can I think about that I can try to mull over while I'm doing some mundane stuff like folding laundry? You say all of that out loud? No, no, no. I say, uh, you know, all right, what do I got? What? I say this to myself. What do I got? <laughs> what, do, what do you got for me, buddy? And so I put this all in a flex. I it. put this in a flex uh, bucket, right? Uh-huh. So I can't do bonfire. I can't sit down with both hands. This is when I had, when both babies were really young. And I just never had two hands. Yeah. Right. I always had to do something on my phone uh, while holding the bait, one of the babies. And so my thing was like, all right, what can I do before I get to the thing? How can I mentally prepare what, when I don't have the time right now to do it? So when I sit down, it's going to be boom. I'm going to fucking just crush it out. Yeah. All right. So bonf- I'm thinking about this bonfire dot com uh, where you can sell shirts. Um you can make them for yourself and then put it out to be purchased by whoever wants to buy them. Seems like the quality is better than Zazzle. Uh, a lot of yeah, way better than Zazzle. Well, I like that. I what like about Shirtly and, and there's Threadhub? Did I, you make those up? Yep, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> like write them down. I don't know dude. about those. <laughs> uh, Teespring. Woo. Um, so that's like a real one, though. Viral style. That's a local one too. Um, that was my old boss. They own Viral Style. Anyway, um, my thing is like, all right, but when I sit down, I can I cl- I sometimes I close my eyes and ignore the kids and let the oven just go. And uh, <laughs> no, but I'll go. Okay, when I sit down, what kind of what color shirt? All right, we're going with this neon branding now. We're going with this '80s theme. So, yeah. all right, so it's top, but we want it to be annoying too. Oh yeah, and so it's got to be the f- a fluorescent color. It's not going to be black. With neon, which could look cool, but I'm with you. That's going to stand out too much. No one will buy that. It needs to be a little bit subtle, so that people it'll look like a tie. Mostly, we may have to adjust the the icon that we have mm-hmm. because anything with a cuss word or like a big Johnson T-shirt, <laughs> a lot of people aren't going to wear it, and it's <laughs> kind of not the publicity we want. Uh, you know, I mean, that was high quality artwork on those big Johnson shirts, dude. I only had seventeen of them. All right. <laughs> Big Johnson golfing. Yeah, get, get your Just Woody. Put Big Johnson in front of any other thing in the entire world. Oh man, those Big are Johnson awesome. podcasting. Fuck it. Oh man, 
It, okay, can I, we buy I, that I brand? Do watch I bet we could buy that brand now. Like recycle it. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, yeah like, sure. Or No Fear probably owns them or something. Yeah, and oh, one Massimo. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Fila. Yeah. So I, I I try to think as much before I sit down, and it's actually helpful because sometimes when you have to work on some stuff, like you're overwhelmed because you haven't been able to think about it before you sit down. Yeah, or you, when you're starting to work, you know you've got, you can just get into it and be working on it for hours on end. Right. And it's hard to be like, okay, hold on a second. This should, yeah, and you can go, this should only take me 30 minutes. Yeah, well. T- you know what I'm saying? Like, right. give yourself a clock. If you don't do that, sometimes you can be in design hell forever. Yeah. And so my thing was like, all right, what do I need to do? All right, I need to get the dick file first. Get that dick file, I'll upload it. Uh, what kind of colors was I going to go with? I was going to go with a maybe that neon pink or purple with the light blue as the tie. Okay, mm-hmm. that seems to be the safest colors. Sure. Um, and then what? Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, and then all right, what sizes would we go? Heather, like the heathery kind of um, look, where it's a little bit more soft. I think so. I like soft. Then we take that. the better, baby. Then once we have it uploaded, which should be pretty easy, then we're going to take that and uh, I'm going to take that embedded block where we can sell it and have it on the site. Yeah. Good. And that's that that whole thing of like thinking for five minutes while I'm making PB and J, not for my kid because he has a peanut allergy, but you know what I mean? Um, making some. Whose bait. kids are you making it for? <laughs> you know, that other family I have down <laughs> oh, the street. Okay. Um, That's I'm making, you need. when I'm making bagel bites as yeah. a cook yeah. and, um, That's the two minute warning. that shit helps compartmentalize it. Mm-hmm. So back to habits, tasks, projects, projects we know, right? There's a start time. There's an end time. You should do every project basically breaks down into three phases or so, uh, your research and planning, um, the execution and then maybe quality control and analysis. I don't know. Or pre-production, <laughs> production, post-production. Uh-huh. Break everything down into three sections, and that makes it a lot easier. It's a three-act play. That's, uh, for whatever reason, the rule of threes in, in comedy, it works. S- you look at a lot of jokes, and it'll be like, da-dun, 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 yeah. da-dun, 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 bam! You, know, you watch like, a movie that's not set up that way, you're like, um, what? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't feel good. Like Cloud end. Atlas. Yeah, <laughs> love that movie. Yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, they had some cool ideas, but I don't, it's, I don't, it's a little I was tough. still like, I don't get it. It should have been a series, <laughs> but uh, I'll leave on that because I have a really interesting thought. Um, the Wachowski brothers that did The Matrix. Well, now it's a sister and a brother. That's the that's the weirdest thing of that movie is the credits where you go. The Wachowski sisters? Yeah. Wait, wait. Both of them? So, like, was one of the brothers like, "Hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna change my gender," and the other one's like, "Oh yeah, 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 me too, me too, me too." Like, he's a, they both did. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, Lana and Lily, Wachowski. Okay. And so my my thing was like, I wonder if there's like a little brother of the two, or the 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 twin that's a minute later. I don't know what kind of brothers they are. But the one that follows the other. Oh, I'm just picturing a scenario. It's like, hey, Are I'm going to turn my penis into a vagina. And the other one's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was th- I've been thinking about that, too. You always copy me. Yeah. <laughs> Are they getting- twins? I don't know. <laughs> I just said that. I don't know if they're brothers. I don't even believe you until I look it up. Look, look it up while I'm we not, have this outro. No, game. I'm not doing it. Because <sighs> you can't spell Wachowski? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that is stranger than Hugo Weaving being like a weird alien guy. Oh, totally. Or the bad makeup in Neo Soul, where they they put folds on a lot of. Do I need to be here for this? Yeah, you can just leave whenever. You can see yourself out. Okay. All right. Thanks cool. for uh, listening. Hey, uh, habits I, test I, projects. I forgot to mention the Sweat Lodge dot studio. Set up. We're gonna rent this bitch out. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's the website, Sweatlodge dot studio, and it's up now. I'm still messing with it, but hit me up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna filter. Not everybody can use it. Oh no, you have a. There's an interview process. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Sweatequitypod.com. And you got to put up a little collateral, like your house. 
Sure, sure, sure. Car yeah. or something like that. All right, that's a, well, we didn't last do the song. No, we can't listen to another one, can we? No. All right, <laughs> thanks everybody. The Bye. weirdest outro ever.